All right, we're back now with some great entertainment, especially for little ones. You can catch Seven Angels Kids stage production of Goldilocks this weekend. And here to tell us all about it is the director and writer, Scott Keeley, along with the actor, Gino Bacchetta. Bacetta. Bacetta, thank you. <laughs> it's good to see the both of you. How have you been? Thank you. It's very nice to all be right, here. All right, so the last time you were with us yep. was during Pinocchio. During Pinocchio. Thank How do you pick the stories that are going to come to the stage? So uh, it, there's no system. Goldilocks, the reason I'm doing it, it's the first one we did when we started in 2018. Oh, really? Thought enough time had gone by, we okay. could do it again. Will there be differences? Uh, some changes, really essentially the same thing. Okay. But I did add another, there's another dance, a few more songs, so we expanded it a bit. The basic premise, our own little uh, take on it, is still the same, and that has to do with Gino's character. Yeah, Gino, this is my understanding, your first time on stage with Seven Angels, anyway, is that right? And the, No, oh, no, I've done oh, uh, many No, he's shows. one of our veterans. Oh, okay. Yeah. Alright, uh, but what's been your experience? <laughs> it says it's the first time. But anyway, that's okay. You want So, how much do you love it? I love doing uh, theater. I started doing it in 2018. Um, I was, my mom signed me up for a theater camp at Seven Angels, and ever since then, I just really enjoyed doing it. This is, I think, how many shows have I done with you? Boy, you st you were in the second show. Mm -hmm. You came right up here, the second show you were in, and you've been in probably the majority of them since then. Yeah. You've probably done six or seven shows, yeah. something like that. Gina, what's your role this time? What are you, what are you playing this time? This time, I play a boy named Jack. Um, he has a sister named Jen. He's Jack is reading his sister a bedtime story, and all of a sudden, you hear Papa Bear start talking oh. about the story. And we're just in the world of the story now. We used to just be in our um, room, but it takes, it takes like the story of the Three Little Bears and twists it, twists it in the way of Papa Bear is, you know, Goldilocks is the one who actually broke the chair. Um, See, I didn't, I've never seen the show. Yeah. I have no idea what okay. the show is about. Okay. So, but Goldilocks, okay, so if you don't remember this as your fable, I do remember just growing up with it, but Goldilocks is the story of the three years because they're all like trying, it, it, it's finding out what's just right, right? Yeah. <laughs> she essentially wrecks havoc, Goldilocks, mm -hmm. while she's there. And Jack and is afraid of it. I'm so afraid because Papa Bear, you know, to me, my character, he's so scary, and I'm, he's like telling me, don't break anything. So when Goldilocks comes in, I'm just very, you know, nervous trying to get her to leave, but she keeps insisting that she wants to stay. Um, and what do you get when you're up there? What kind of feeling do you get when you're acting? Usually, um, I don't know, it's just like, it, it's a different headspace. Uh, you're just, you don't feel like yourself. You feel like you are the character right. mm. on the stage. Um, Usually on opening night, you always get a little jitteriness. Yeah, of course. That's, that's fantastic. Gino's a terrific performer. Yeah, so all three. He's definitely what you call a triple threat. He can sing, act, and dance. That's, oh, that's amazing. Terrific. I Good know. Thing. For all the other kids who maybe want to do what you're doing, you have camps. Uh, is it okay to still sign up? Oh, we would love to have them sign up. We have a really nice camp. I'm a little biased. I've taught there for years. Yeah. yeah. But uh, we have the, the kids get together with groups of kids their own age, acting, dancing, and singing class. Then they prepare a presentation each week week is a freestanding unit, like Aww. they start Monday and Friday. Yeah. And then on Friday afternoon, they do a presentation for the family to come see, really, play a lot of games, it's a fun camp. What's mm -hmm. next? Do you have the next uh, I have a whole season down? for the Chosen City yeah. Company. So next year, we're going to, I ha just chose my title, my idea, I've been talking to Gino about it, trying to get him in it. Um, we're going to do, uh, my Halloween show is going to be called, Who Lives in the Haunted House? Uh, I'm going to bring back Tom Sawyer. Now enough time has gone on in next February. That's when you folks had it time for Pinocchio. Yeah, yeah. That's right. And from now, uh, Xander, one of our company members, said, Scott, what about Hansel and Gretel? I said, Oh, I love oh. Hansel and Gretel. I said, Xander, next We're June. Doing it. Well, we yeah. can't thank you enough for being on the show. Uh, you guys are great Good to have us. Good luck to you, Gino. Thank you. We appreciate thank you. your time. Thank you. You can catch Goldilocks this Saturday and Sunday at 10 a.m. at Seven Angels Theater in Waterbury. Tickets are $10 each. Yeah, that's really reasonable. Take the family, introduce them to the theater. Maybe you've got a little budding actor. For information, you can visit sevenangelstheater.org. All right, what's coming up? Coming up on Great Day Connecticut, we're going to be crafting with Kate Francis. This week we're making a sweet treat. She's teaching us how to make the viral ice cream bark that is all over social media next. And later, a new CSI spinoff with a true crime twist. We're getting a sneak peek of the new CBS show ahead of Wednesday night debut right here on Channel 3. Great Day with Connecticut. We'll be right back. Stay with us.